Azar Mahmoud is the new batsman. A man who made a century on debut and it was against South Africa in Raul Pindi. 128 not out and then he made 50 not out in the second innings. And only Pakistan ever to make a century and a 50 on debut. To avoid the follow-on. And this will help. It's four runs down to third man. As I was saying a moment ago, there is no third man. Very attacking field. Three slips in a gully. Five is 18. And this is going to be four more. It was short from Pollock. And Mahmoud played the pull shot very well. I think Sean Pollock showing the frustration of conceding the bounce. That's hit him on the head. Quick bowl is green. That's four more. Down through the hole there. It's all bold, but uh, four runs. Yeah, that, that's not so much bad luck, that. The ball's gone for four. That's just a bit too wide. Uh, well, that's the kitchen sink. Went fairly high. Donald's... Oh, he's taking it with him. Bad luck. 10 out of 10 for effort. 0 out of 10 for result. That's in the air. And now we're seeing a little bit of... Uh, as a Mahmoud in terms of how dangerous he can be he does hit with a very very straight bat that you have to give him credit for the ball deviates and gets past the outside edge so so well and good but look how straight that bat was Donald in the corner drive end and take that it's an extraordinary shot from Mahmoud so I'm going to reach the boundary and get only Two runs for it. That wasn't that short, and he certainly got a lot of bat onto it. Hit it a lot higher than he probably would have liked, and so it didn't go for four. But he's got an exceptional eye, and he hits the ball very cleanly. Who's uh, rushing around the boundary and back with square leg, and he gets there. Saves the four, and they take two. Enough, another four runs, this time over the wicketkeeper's head. Oh, dear me. And look at that now, back over the bowler's head. He's not going to go for four, because he didn't hit it well enough, but they'll be able to get three. Another good shot, straight down the ground. That might go the whole way. Sounded better contact. No. Nope. Good chasing from the South African captain. That smashed through the covers. Certainly when the ball is semblance up there, there's no hanging back. Well, you know, they're not even trying to get into line. They're not even... Oh, that brings Donald to his knees, and I don't blame him. Just taking the fielder out of the ring, whether it would have gone to him or not, is... Uh... That's a beautiful stroke. That's as good a shot as he played all day. Yes, this one was superb. It was timed well. It chose the gap. Overpitched by, by Jacques Callas, and uh, another four accrues to the Pakistani saw score. They're now on to 226 for six. That's bunted away for four. That was pretty good timing. Again. Just that width. As soon as the width's presented, doesn't matter if it's swinging. He hits through it, and he hits through it hard. What a shot. 
And he's hit that so sweetly, right between the two. Good fielding again from the South Africans on the boundary. Beautiful throw, good combination. But for a moment, that looked like four. Well done, Adam Bucker. There it is. Well played, young man. Well done. His second hundred against South Africa in as many test matches. And this crowd here at the Wanderers, as well as his batting partner, Eunice, congratulate him warmly, and rightly so. I love the way they acknowledge somebody at the end of their centuries. Nice to see. But really, he, he does look as if he's enjoying his cricket, whether he's bowling or fielding. He doesn't take a backward step. He let Pat Simcox know exactly where he was when he was bowling. Four. Well, Pollock won't like the fact that it's gone for four. But it does keep the number 11 at the striker's end. 305 for nine. There's conflict of interest. Walked away, he'll want to. So he'll have to hurry. And does. And he's hit that halfway up the bank. Great shot. Wonderful shot, gets himself into position very quickly. Dispatches it effortlessly over square leg. See that left foot opening up. The mood really played a heroic innings. Well, that's a magnificent shot. Straight over extra cover. They're asking, Cyril Mitchell is asking. Yes, it is, maximum. Uh, Lance Luth has created an angle there. What a good shot that has been. Clues now having a change of tactics coming around the wicket. As we've often seen before in this innings, outside that off stump, give Mahmood any room and he punishes the bowler. Immediately goes back over the wicket, very sensible. This is high in the air, Gary Kirsten's underneath it, and he's dropped it. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, well, well. Gary Kirsten, normally a very safe pair of hands in the outfield. Got himself in reasonable position to catch that. Now, is this one going to be caught? Donald under it. Yes, and safely in his hands. He's really happy about that. So is Pollock. Clutham will feel a little aggrieved. And it will alter Mahmoud's average. But what a very, very important innings, Kepler. Magnificent innings uh, from a Pakistani point of view. A young man coming in, playing with the innocence of youth. And just watch him trying to launch it another delivery over that extra cover area but uh, he was quite superb made his, in his intentions clear from the word go the ball was there to be hit he did so he did so very well maintained his concentration rode the little bit of luck that he had and he's kept pakistan in this test match so that's good congratulating him 215 balls, 16 fours and two sixes, 60 scoring shots, 136. Well, 